Welcome to our next lesson. This time we decided to explain in a nutshell what is demand, how it relates to the price and by what factors it is affected. Simply put, demand is the quantity or volume of a given product that consumers want to buy at a given place, time and price. This concept relates to both physical goods such as food or building materials and services such as hairdressers or business consulting. What dictates how high is the demand? One basic factor is undoubtedly the price. The more expensive a given product is, the lower is the demand for it. On the other hand, if a given good or service becomes cheaper, more customers want to buy it, so the demand grows. This relationship is called the law of demand and is represented by the so-called demand curve. It clearly shows that as the price increases, the demand gradually decreases. However, it is worth noting that the effect of price on demand is not the same for all products. There are goods for which an increase in price results in little or no fall in demand. Then we say that the demand for such a product is inelastic. Conversely, when even a small change in price causes a rapid decline in demand, we are dealing with an elastic demand. Demand is also closely related to the concept of marketing equilibrium. It is a point where the demand equals the supply, that is, the amount of good that the seller is able to offer. In a state of market equilibrium, a product achieves a price that can be described as ideal. It satisfies both the consumers, because they are willing to buy the product for it, and the producers, who can easily sell the products they have. What else, apart from price, affects how high is demand? First of all, the income and purchasing power of customers. The higher they are, the higher is the demand for the goods that the consumers need. Demand for specific products can also rapidly increase or decrease under the influence of current trends and fashions. The best example of this are various clothing collections something that was fashionable and aroused great interest among consumers six months ago, today can be only sold for a discounted price, by 70% at least. In the context of factors affecting demand, it is also worth mentioning the number of substitute goods. In other words, if a customer can replace a product such as a drill from company X, with drills from other companies and there are other devices that serve the same purpose, then the demand for this product will be much lower. On the other hand, in the case of unique products and producers that are monopolists in their category, demand will have much greater potential to grow and remain at a high level. We hope that this short video helped you wrap your head around the concept of demand. We believe that now you will also be able to identify which market factors have the greatest impact on it. Be sure to also check out other materials on the Questus channel. We prepared for you, for example, lessons about marketing mix, SWOT analysis or microenvironment analysis. We wish you more inspiring learning sessions.